The Codex Gigas, also known as the Devil's Bible, due to the large illustration of the devil on the inside of the giant book, it is also connected to the legend surrounding its creation. It is largely thought to have been created in the early 12th century in the Benedictine monastery of Bodlegisa in Bohemia. According to legend, the Codex was created by a character known as Hermann the Recluse in the Benedictine monastery near Chirdim in the Czech Republic. The monastery was destroyed sometime in the 15th century during the Hussite Revolution. The Codex was thankfully rescued and taken to the Benedictine Monastery in Brzezivnov. From 1477 to 1593, it was kept in the library of a monastery until it was taken to Prague in 1594 to form part of the collections of the Empire Rudolf II. In 1648, it was taken as war booty by the Swedish army. In 1697, it would escape destruction again when a fierce fire broke out at the royal castle in Stockholm, subsequently destroying the royal library. The codex was rescued from the flames by being thrown from a window. According to the vicar, Johann Eriksons, the codex landed on a bystander, injuring him quite badly. In September 2007, after 359 years of changing hands in numerous ways, the Codex Gigas was returned to the National Library in Stockholm. But what makes the Codex particularly special and worthy of further investigation are the characteristics within the writings of this enormous book, which astonishingly support the story of it being created in just one sitting. A National Geographic documentary included interviews with manuscript experts who argued that certain evidence, in particular the handwriting analysis and the long-standing credit to Herman Inclusus, aka Herman the Recluse, indicate the manuscript was indeed, somehow, the work of just one scribe. According to the historical legend, which was already academically recorded by the Middle Age, the scribe was a monk who broke his monastic vows and was sentenced to be walled up alive. In order to avoid this harsh penalty, he promised to create, in one night, a book to glorify the monastery forever. This book would include all human knowledge. Near midnight, he became sure that he could not complete this task alone, so he made a special prayer, not addressed to God, but to the fallen angel Lucifer, asking him to help finish the book in exchange for the monk's soul. The devil would accept this deal, completing the rest of the manuscript the monk would add the devil's picture out of gratitude for his help. Many specialists within the area of writing, forensic analysis, and also numerous replication attempts have indicated that the level of uniformity within the writings lean towards the impossible. Not only does it strongly indicate that the book was created in just one sitting, but is perfectly scribed throughout, a feat considered to be beyond that of human capabilities. The analysis also shown that the writings alone, if written by one person, would take over five years to complete, with the additional illustrations adding another 20. Yet it must be noted, it has been concluded on many occasions that no mere mortal is capable of such uniform writings within this time period. There would have inevitably been some form of evolution within the style. Of course, it must be remembered Although there is a highly compelling story attached to the origins of this giant book, its creation still largely remains a mystery. How big would you have to be for it to comfortably rest in one's lap? What sort of person, if of course it was a person, could have written the Codex Gigas? And how did they write it? It is most certainly one of the world's most mysterious books.